Hello my lovely, welcome back to my kitchen. It is always a pleasure to have you here. Today I'm going to share with you how you can use our local ripe plantain to make yourself a really delicious gluten-free sandwich. So stay tuned, please do not skip the video so you can learn all the tips and tricks to make yourself a really delicious African delight. I hope you are here to stay as well. Come on in and let's get cooking. I am using medium ripe plantain. It isn't too soft. The first option will be to cut up your plantain into two and peel it as such. Or you may just decide to use it as a whole. Next, I'll go ahead and brush some oil onto my sandwich maker both the bottom and the top and then place my plantain on. You want to grease your plantain as well with some oil to prevent it from sticking too much and to give it a nice shine as well. Next, secure it in properly and lock it up. Leave it in for about four to five minutes and allow it to roast. Coming back, one of the two might happen. It may come out in one piece like this or if your plantains are soft it may come out a bit mushy or separated. It is not a problem. Just go in with your spatula and remove it and attach it to the plantain. At a closer look it is far from being perfect. There are cracks here and there but it isn't a problem because I'm going in with my rolling pin to flatten it up. So just try to copy what I am doing. You kind of pin it down and roll it bit by bit until it stretches and then you turn it around and give it a good roll up. Once it rolls up properly, we are going to put it back in the sandwich maker for about two minutes. You realize that from the beginning up to this stage, you would have spent like seven to only eight minutes. It is really quick. Brush it up with a bit more oil and close it. Two minutes is up. Look how steamy and nice this looks. So I'm going to remove it and place them on my chopping board. Hello, this is Always West Kitchen. If you are new to the channel, a special welcome to you. If you are a subscriber, thank you so very much. I hope you do consider to join us by subscribing if you haven't done so already. And please do not forget to activate your bell icon so you can be notified anytime I upload a video. Thank you. I went in for some really well seasoned grilled chicken thai and I have just shredded it up and filling my plantain sandwich with it. You can go in with fish, meat, any protein of your choice. And this is the other cover that I decided to put some cheese on and then quickly chop up some fresh onions and sprinkle it onto this deliciousness. I do hope you are able to try this delicious no flour sandwich. You would absolutely fall in love whilst the cheese is so warm. Go in with your knife and flatten it up. Now I'm going to be adding some tomato ketchup and mayonnaise. Anything else you want to add, it is your calling. For now, it is good for me. So I have closed it up and then go ahead and cut yourself an amazing sandwich you will fall in love with over and over again. Just take a look at how beautiful this is. Now, where are my fellow Guineans and my Nigerian friends and family? I know you would love this second option. Spread yourself some chili sauce. I went in with Guinean black chili oil or shito. Fried some eggs with green peppers and it is so so delicious mm. 
thank you for staying with me until this stage thank you for liking the video and for subscribing i hope you are here to stay at always west kitchen i will see you again in my next upload until then take care bye bye